Let's see what happened in April in Metis. As the Metis ecosystem continues to expand and evolve, each passing month brings new milestones and exciting developments. In April, we saw a flurry of activity and progress, and from new partnerships to significant technical upgrades, there was a lot to keep up with. So let's dive deeper into what happened last month at Metis. At the beginning of April, Metis announced its 2023 roadmap, which includes the most important technological developments that will be implemented this year. The roadmap includes several exciting developments, such as the implementation of the first of its kind hybrid rollup architecture, combining the scalability of optimistic rollups with the security of zero knowledge rollups. This innovation will pave the way towards a Web3 economy by offering faster transaction finality, enhanced security, and increased throughput and capital efficiency. Metis also is implementing a decentralized sequencer pool to ensure the security and liveness of the blockchain. The implementation of Bedrock, designed by Optimism, will introduce exciting new features and lower fees. The Bedrock upgrade, designed by Optimism, is one of the key components of the Metis 2023 roadmap. This upgrade will bring exciting new features, including alternative client implementation capabilities, consensus and execution separation, and optimal call data submission, which will help Metis lower fees even further. Additionally, Bedrock will enable the implementation of the Canon Fraud Proof System, enhancing Metis' security and helping it pave the way towards a Web3 economy. With these features, Bedrock will provide an even more secure environment and enhance network robustness and provide users with the cheapest transactions among any rollup. Metis is committed to enhancing its blockchain security and decentralization for its users. To achieve this goal, we're implementing two key components into the infrastructure that will set the standard for the blockchain industry. The first implementation is a decentralized sequencer pool, a move that other rollups have been discussing for years. This step will ensure the security and liveness of the blockchain and prevent bad actors from tampering with or censoring the network. Additionally, Metis will be the first Ethereum layer 2 to share the sequencer's revenue with the community, setting a new standard in the blockchain industry. Once implemented, this move will categorize Metis as a fully functional rollup, demonstrating its commitment to innovation and advancement in the blockchain space. The second implementation is hybrid rollups. The Metis DAO Foundation announced that they're building the first ever hybrid rollup, combining the transcendent scalability of optimistic rollups with the security and fast finality of zero knowledge rollups. By combining these two architectures, Metis will provide a secure, developer friendly layer 2 for Ethereum developers to deploy all types of dApps. Maya DAO is deployed on Metis Andromeda for the first ever Uni V3 fork, expanding its DeFi ecosystem. Uni V3 brings concentrated liquidity, capital efficiency, range orders, non fungible liquidity, and flexible fees. LPs can earn more trading commissions by focusing their liquidity on a narrow price range, and this deployment reduces the possibility of passing losses and draws liquidity providers. It also provides a more efficient trading experience, attracts more traders and liquidity providers, and develops new revenue streams for the ecosystem and community members. This implementation distributes 10% of the trading fees collected to V Hermes lockers, Maya stakers, and Maya Dow treasury. Get ready for DeFi excitement on Metis. The recent approval of Aave's deployment on Metis Andromeda is a major milestone for the network. This partnership with a leading decentralized lending platform not only could highlight the potential of Metis as a central hub for DeFi innovation, but also signal the network's growing recognition in a wider crypto community. After Aave's arrival to Metis, users can expect to enjoy enhanced access to lending and borrow services, which will further strengthen the DeFi ecosystem on the network. As a result, the Metis ecosystem could be poised for an uptake in adoption and growth, unlocking endless possibilities for Web3 advancements. Every month, the Metis DAO Foundation gives back a portion of the network transaction fees to all ecosystem projects generating transaction volume. This is the foundation's way to retroactively fund all and every project contributing to the network's activity. The top five performing projects last month were Maya Dow and Hermes Protocol, NetSwap, Hera Finance, Tethys Finance, and Synapse, with an honorable mention to Hummus Exchange. Media supports its ecosystem builders all the way down the road, so take advantage of the Builder Mining Rewards Program and leverage the benefits of delivering a great product on Metis. Retroactive funding is the key for short and long-term sustainability of public goods, such as the Metis ecosystem. Learn more about Builder Mining Rewards at the link in our show notes. That's it for April and Metis. We'll see you next month for another recap.